Coming on through here. Got something waiting for us down there. Let's see what it is. Diffusion beam. Yeah, baby. Mm -mm. I will say, okay, two minor complaints I do have about this game, and they both have to do with the power-ups. Number one, I feel like the power-up icons that you pick up are too small, and it's such a nitpicky thing, like, it's not a bad thing. You can't criticize the game for something like that, but I kind of wish they were bigger, because it would feel more consequential when you pick them up. The Metroid items are always super consequential, like, they always matter when you get them. Oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to do this yet. <laughs> There's actually a power-up in here we can get now. And even though I'm not getting all the power-ups on this particular run, I do want to get as many as I can. Oh, I hate when that happens. Um, shoot you. Crap. Yeah, I, I don't want to go into Morph Ball form, but sometimes it does it anyway. Alright, perfect. Good job. Okay, and the and the I guess the other the other complaint I was about to bring up is that I don't really like the way the the jingle sounds when you pick up an item either, but yeah. Again, it's just a matter of taste, I suppose. Nobody can really do anything about that. It's nobody's fault. I just liked it better when it sounded more elegant and here it kinda sounds like electronic y or something. I don't know. Yay, we made it! Where are we at now? We're in Dairon, okay, so... Hopefully we don't Dairon here. You can shoot the ceiling right here, that's part of the sequence break. If you want to go for Grapple Beam early, when you do that earlier when you're in this room, you go through that floor and come through this door, and it'll take you there. But, only after you get the Varius suit, obviously, because you're not going to make it through this room without it. I think there are, like, sequence-breaking things that involve going through these rooms without the various suit, but I haven't tried any of that lately. That was pretty short, that little trip we made through there, maybe. So you probably could get through that on two energy tanks, I don't know. This area, Dairon, appears to be a biological research laboratory. You have already reactivated one generator in this area. There is another sector above you, still suffering from the blackout. Find the next generator and reactivate it. You are slowly recovering your abilities. I have still not established what happened to you physically. Don't let your guard down. Your primary objective is to survive. Proceed with the utmost care. Alright, I'll proceed with the utmost care. Utmost. Yeah. Utmost is such a funny word, though. Okay, these guys take a lot of hits to kill, so... Definitely be ready to jump out of the way if they come after you. Okay, so you can shoot this wall here. Okay, I always go the wrong way in here, so let me see if I can make sure I don't do that this time. I think it may be that I want to go up here. Yeah, and then come through here. Come up here, and then you can shoot through the wall up here. Yeah, that's it. Because these little walls that you can shoot with a diffusion beam, I don't think they show up on the map. Uh, is this it? This can't be it. No, that's not it. Ooh, there is one, um, <laughs> there is one door that you can go through one wrong way. That's an Emmy door. And when you go through it, oh, I, I kind of wished I had gone through it now, but, uh, <laughs> when you go through the Emmy door, you, like, find yourself trapped in a small room, and there's, like, a garage behind you, and something is on the other side of it trying to bust through. And it doesn't bust through, but, like, the metal gets bent from it trying to. And you never see what that is back there. At least I don't think you do. But it's really scary for those few seconds that you're trapped in the room with that thing. With whatever it is. Well, there's also, like, a grapple point in that room, so... If you had the grapple beam, you would actually want to go in that room. To take a shortcut. To get somewhere else, probably. I don't know where you would end up. Jeez, I didn't say goodbye at the end of the episode, but it's already at 32 minutes, so I think I'm just going to cut it in some random spot. And just say to hell with it at this point. Da -da 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 -da. So we turned on the power in that second area. And we still have to get bombs, so we're going to head up here and watch out. 
guys are tough. If you use charge shots, it only takes two of them, so you might just want to do that. I don't know. Here, hit this, and bombs are ours. Bombs are us. So another thing that may be a little confusing. I don't know if they tell you this on the map or somewhere, but you can actually bomb the floor in here. And in fact, that's what you're supposed to do to progress, so... Yeah. You could go the other way, I guess, if you wanted to. Like, you could leave the room and just go down that corridor where we were just in. Come down this way. Okay, so remember how I said before, when you get the morph ball, you go down into the left. If you get bombs, you go down into the left. That's still true. See this? Ooh. Okay. This is another one of those background images that's very... I mean, just the stairs and everything. I don't know, it's so detailed. And even as you walk back and forth, you can see little different parts of it. It's just so cool. I don't know what this monster is, but I don't think I want to get anywhere near it. Actually, I do know what it is, but I'm not saying. So, keep going down to the left. Uh, until at which point you can't anymore. That's a save room right there. I'm not going to mess with that. <coughs> this is the bottom of a wall right here. And <coughs> these are missiles, and I got hiccups. Ugh. May have to pause the recording for a little bit and go get some peanut butter or something. Alright, we out of there. Beep, 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 beep. Hmm. Here. Oh, 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 okay. Remember this room. I wish I'd remembered this room more. There's nothing really special about the room, but like, I guess something about the layout of the grabby platforms is special. But here's the thing, whether or not you go up or down in this room can dictate where you're going to end up. You want to be in this room. You want to take the upper path. Because later on, when you have to go back to the area that we're currently headed to, you can go one of two ways. And if you go the other way, it just takes longer. And it's like, it's only a difference of two or three minutes, but still, it's something I just couldn't help but notice and like I've told myself ever since then remember this room because this is the room where it diverges and you decide whether or not you're taking the upper or the lower path to get over here because there's two paths and they're both basically parallel to each other but this is the one you're going to want especially when you have to make the return trip You want to know what I was doing while Samus was riding the elevator? You're not going to hear it because I'm going to put the music in, but I was going... Wah, wah. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Shoot through the floor here. You can't do this because you don't have the speed booster yet. Oh, this is another thing where there's two of it. Remember how earlier we got the morph ball and we had to go up and to the left using our newfound morph ball to get the E-Tank? Well, when you get the speed booster and you use your newfound speed booster, you go up and to the left to get an E-Tank. So, yeah, that's another one. Also, if you have the grapple beam, you can actually grapple through there and take a nice little shortcut. Just save you a couple of minutes, something in the window. And it's not happy to see me, apparently. Okay, these things are really annoying. What you're supposed to do is go into morph ball mode, and when it sucks you in, lay bombs. The bombs will fly into it faster than you will, and that's how you kill them pretty much instantly. The trick is, though, or the trouble is that not always that easy to get in the right position the morph ball or like you'll get in the morph ball you'll bomb them but then when they drop you you fall back down to somewhere you don't want to be or you fall down somewhere where it's going to take you a minute to get back where you just were okay this room here let me see if something here if you just run into this without stopping can you oh. one time i came into this room and i got through before that laser went off and I have no idea how I did it, because ever since then I've never been able to do it. I think when you have the phase thing, you can do it, but... Or maybe even the slide, you could just probably slide. I don't know. You know, so why don't you slide? That stupid picture of me singing that song at karaoke with my eyes closed. 
It's like, what are you trying to look like? You mean what you're singing? You will need your gravity suit to operate there at full efficiency. Abilities such as the grapple beam or space jump will help you maneuver underwater to an extent. Find them as soon as possible. Grapple beam soon. Space jump, not really. <laughs> not unless you want to go for it early. And again, uh, well, actually, <laughs> Well, that's the thing. You know, you can go for one thing early, but by doing that, you're consequently you're going to get everything else later than usual. So you have to pick and choose. You know, which one? Which one do you want to? Yeah. Also, don't go up here. All this is an ammo recharge station. We're going to get sucked there. I don't care. Do this, do that. Grab the ceiling and get across. I got this whole thing pretty much worked out at this point. Kill that. Grab the ceiling here. We can get a missile pack up here shoot and try to get in here pretty fast after you shoot so that the rocks don't respawn before you have a chance to get out otherwise it just takes a few extra seconds to bomb and you want to save all the seconds you can if you're speed running and again I keep saying those words speed run and I feel bad every time I do because like because I'm not a speed runner not yet not my best time is double what the world record is I uh I mean, I guess you know, there's a shame in it or whatever, but you know, as long as you're trying, that's something. Okay, I'm going the wrong way again. I'm gonna stay down here and I'm gonna get you. Come on, just keep pushing through. Ooh-wee. Okay, when you get up here now, you're about to fall into a really big pit here. So when you fall here, pull back to the left. That way you can grab this 10 missile tank right here. That's a big deal. I mean, I feel like 10 missile tanks are a pretty big deal. And it's always worth going out of your way or possibly putting yourself in danger to get one. Like I did earlier with the one in the lava. It's just something I like to do. I like having missiles. I was saying before, I definitely use them more in this game than I normally would. I don't know how well I've been adhering to that philosophy that I so succinctly made mention of earlier in this playthrough, but whatever. Let's get through here. And, oh, I'm not going to get back over there again. Actually, you can get back over there, but there's really no reason to. What I want to do is get up here. See, every time I get to this room, it's like, I feel like I was just here. Based on the directions I've been going. Now, that's another grapple spot over there, so you could probably get here a lot faster with that. It's astounding how fast you would get through this area if you had the grapple beam. So I can see why people get the grapple beam early. This game is designed to encourage that, which I think is great. There's also two rooms, another, speaking of the twos thing, there's two rooms that have a big statue like this that you go into and you get a power-up without having to fight a boss. And both of those power-ups are things that aren't weapons. Because this is Flash Shift, which is basically you flash forward, you dash, like in Celeste. And the other one is like, a, like the X-ray scope, sort of. I never use it because I already know where most everything is. So here, do that right there. And slide across here. This is going to use up your Aeon, though, so be careful. Just like the Phantom Cloak uses it up, this one does too. So I'm going to get these guys out of here. And uh, this right here, I like to do it a little bit lower than you think you're supposed to. Or else you're always going to hit the top, and it's just really annoying. And dash away from the wall there. And dash up here. And dash right there. I, I guess I didn't really explain what those doors... <laughs> the doors that have, like, the yellow lining along the floor. If you step on the yellow lining, it turns red and the door shuts. So it's kind of like those other doors, really. But, uh... Yeah. But if you, like, dash through them from off of the ground, then you don't have to worry about it too much. This missile expansion down here, I think you're meant to have the gravity suit to get this one. But if you're fast enough, you can get it without the gravity suit by doing this right here. Just jump up there and get before the water fills up and get it that way. That's not actually that hard to do. I've, I can pretty much do it all the time now. First couple of times, I actually had a lot of trouble with that one, but... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man, I thought I had them all, but I guess not. Oh, man. We'll be respawning. Okay. I did that to refill the water, but there's nothing else to do in there, so I'm just backtracking again here. 
Do, 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 do. Yo, I say that I'm not going to do any glitches or anything like that in this playthrough, but I think I'm going to do at least one bomb jump. Because it's really helpful when you're going for the gravity suit. The gravity suit is a pain in the ass to get in vanilla way. So. So I'm kind of looking forward to trying some different stuff with speed sequence breaking to see. Like, what other ways there are to get that. Besides, well, there's one I've already done, but. The only thing that sucks about early gravity suit is that you don't have the space jump when you go to get it. So, uh, yeah. Oops. Went the wrong way here. No, that was the right way. Well, gee whiz. Socked me sideways. I never remember this right, I'll tell you. Okay, so, remember how I said, like, remember this room earlier in the Emmy Zone? And then I talked about how if you go the other way, you take the low path? This is the low path into Berenia. That's the one we took earlier. The one that I wanted to take. And this was the room to remember. So if you take that room, you go into this water area there. If you go the bottom way, through the Emmy valve or whatever, well, you can't go through that. I don't know, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure you can't get to this from here. Because otherwise you'd be able to take that thing out early. Uh, anyway, okay, so this is a pain in the ass. When you don't have the gravity suit... Running away from this is a pain in the ass, so maybe you might want to phantom cloak this. Wait for him to go away, because otherwise he's going to chase you all the way across here. <clears throat> so I'll just wait and let the suspense build. Sometimes it takes him a little while to go away. So he's turning, yeah, he's coming back over here. Like, dude, go the frick away, man, you dumbass. I'm running out of Aeon over here. Definitely don't want him to be up there, because that's where I'm headed. Okay, I'm running out of juice here. I need to turn this off. And also, that won't recharge unless you actually move around, so do that. Um. Okay, we able to do that, but, uh... Hang on, let me look at something here. Also, I haven't been here yet, but I don't want to go this way. Oh, yeah, the yellow one sucks. Oh, but that, that's where we need to go, right there. That door. Shit. Oh. Gotcha. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, yeah, this is right. Oh, he is right on my ass already. Let's see if we can get up here. Not actually sure if this is the right way. Well, let me look at the map again. Um, no, 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 no. It's on the right. Okay. Shit. Uh. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Might still be able to pull this off. Just get over there. There it is. Okay. Good. Sometimes you'll see a room and it's like foggy, and you might think it's one of those frozen rooms that you can't go into because they look very similar to the frozen rooms. But no. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. I don't know if, like, he takes damage during that animation when he's transforming to the second phase or whatever. I don't usually... It looks like he does, because he totally reacts to it. Okay, we've seen this already, so I'm going to skip it. Alright. And we're going to do this right here. And charge... Bashoom. Okay, so the yellow one, I don't really have a really reliable strategy for it. Just watch the map. Try to get as far away as you can from it. Get a nice long passageway so that you have plenty of time to, to whittle him down. And if he's really close to you when you get him to the second phase, then go away and find somewhere else to go to charge your thing. Because it takes a long time to charge. And you don't want to be vulnerable during that time. Once you get into the second phase, they always have to stand. 
and then they go a lot slower, and then you can really take them out with pretty much no trouble. Just don't be stupid about it, you know, like me. <laughs> I say after I just killed him, but still. I love how Samus touches his boobs there. This is... <laughs> okay, future self, put that on Twitter, seriously. You hear this, you're editing this video, put that on Twitter. I love how Samus touches his boobs. Like, Samus is not... Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. So, anyway, um... Alright, so, Speed Booster is up. Speed Booster is the direction for Speed Booster is up. You get to the top of this room that you were just in, get as high as you can go, and... Wait a minute, wait, is this right? I mean, you can kind of see it on... Okay, it's right there, so it's not all the way up. It's kind of in the middle, and then you just go to the right here. Wait, 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 though. No. Don't miss this on the way. Ha <laughs> ha! That one's very easy to miss. I've missed that many times. Okay, and uh, you might not always be able to react in time. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we got the thing. Let me see how we just did. Mmm! Damn, I'm good! I mean, no, I'm not, but for good lord, I got to the number. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's a, that's a missile tank, and if you can do that, definitely get it on your way. I've gotten to the point I'm usually expecting it at this point, but wow. Okay, here's another one. We're gonna go up here. And when you get to the top of this, grab the energy tank here. Don't forget that. I pretty much never do, because, like, at this point I'm so used to doing it. Oh, man, he just, like, gored me. Like those horse things in Final Fantasy X. They do the horse, you know. It's like, you're a horse! Oh, there's another speed booster wall. Maybe we should run through that. Okay, I always go the wrong way here, so let me make sure. We're looking for speed. Okay, yeah. And again, just, it's like you look at what you just got, which is, in, a, in this case, the speed booster, and find something on the map that corresponds to what you just got. And if you have to press Y to find it, you can do that, and it'll show you where they all are. So it kind of just makes a nice, you can see a nice little pathway of where we just went and where we're headed. So, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to. Okay, sorry if my controller is loud. This, this is a kick-ass controller, though. Emil got it for me for my birthday. Okay, so this is the grapple beam room. How did I end up in here? Oh. Okay, yeah, see, there, here's the thing. You go up after you get the grapple beam. You go down after you get the speed booster, but not too far down. The door's right here. Whoops. Okay. Down, speed booster, and up. So we're heading to get the grapple beam now, so that's about what we're doing. I love the grapple beam in this game, honestly. It's so good. I don't have a lot that I don't like about Super Metroid, but if there is one thing I don't like about Super, it is the grapple beam. I just don't care for it. <laughs> I think it's annoying to use. And, well, it just is, man. You can already see if you were watching the map where the next speed booster blocks are, so we're just going to head straight to those when we get there. Yeah, I think once we get the grapple beam, we're going to call this a video, but, um, yeah. So into the Emmy zone we go. There's no Emmy here anymore, though, so don't have to worry about it. Speed these blocks. We're going to need some space to get up our speed here. And where we're going, we don't need roads. Whoops, did you see that? Yeah, don't miss it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's another one I miss all the time. Glad I didn't this time, though. So we can wait for the blocks to repair themselves, or we can just keep going. Get ready to shine spark here. Makes this room a lot faster. Save room, and now it's grapple beam time. I didn't think we were going to be there this fast, but here we are. My god, this goes by so fast now. And grapple beam is right. I love this room, by the way. Oh, I would so sleep here. I don't know what it is about this room. It's just cool looking. So yeah, we have grapple beam, and next time on Metroid Prime, we're going to check Metroid it out. Prime. Man, what the tell fuck? You, this thing is cool as hell. Bye.